Oh, is that Ruby Nash just wandering around town? Oh, interesting. Okay, so people are actually starting to leave the building here. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's an old casino. Right, Vicky and Vance's. They're starting to leave Vicky and Vance's place. Uh, where is Mr. Nash? Unless he's outside too. Oh, it's going to make him annoying to find. It was also pointed out I could have made this guy the sheriff. Um, did not realize that, otherwise I totally would have made the robot the sheriff. It was also pointed out that apparently what I did was bad, uh, because I used a powder ganger to be the sheriff. Honestly, powder ganger, better than martial law, my opinion. But, you know, that's just me. I don't know, it, it, it seems like he, he's going to do what it takes to protect the town. And in, t in this sort of wasteland environment, you know, sometimes maybe that's necessary. I don't know. It, I, I had been thinking about that when I was editing too, because it was an interesting fact that I sort of maybe it had chose wrongly in that decision. Because if you look at the last part, I ch came here and I chose to have someone who's going to commit martial law. There he is. Um, Heard it was you brought the law back. Uh, anything for sale? Okay. Um, gonna sell the laser weapons. Yeah, in the in the last part, you look and I spend like. Um, oh wow, I need a lot of caps in order to. I need to buy a lot to get the price back out of that. Sell that as well. Uh, like, I basically, in the last part, I went through and I, uh, in the first part, got a sort of person who's going to dish out his own justice as as the sheriff of this town. And then you, and then in the a little bit later, someone who dishes out their own du du justice, I decide is evil and I take out his entire area. But I think it's levels. It's levels of how far they go. Because I don't, I, I would think that the sheriff I put in charge here isn't going to just go out and attack and enslave and destroy people and be just sort of insane. Um, unless it's for like justice and for the greater good. But if it's like, but with the guys that sort of did some pretty horrible stuff in Nipton it's like that's just a different level and it's sort of like I don't know it was interesting to see that um, after I was editing the line I had drawn and I didn't realize when I was playing what am I selling here I'm trying to sell to get rid of more oh right the cartons I got distracted in my rant Except. okay and now before I accidentally sell all of that for way too little caps let's get all of this ammo and probably all of that ammo and all of the hollow point I'm just hitting OK rather than actually hitting A because I'm afraid to hit A because I'm thinking I might actually accept uh, what else do I want here maybe stim packs does he have any stim packs here oh programmers digest I'll probably grab that as well only one stim pack shoot I don't think he has anything else here that I really want that's going to make up for the loss of caps. Long fuse dynamite. They they weigh like a bit though. I don't know if I should really take it. I haven't used what I have. I guess I could buy something that would give me back some of my money for the time being, but I don't really want to do that. Different type of shotgun. Don't know what the point of the playing cards are. Yeah, I guess, uh, long fuse dynamite maybe, buy some of those, that's still not giving me back my stuff, sell, buy back the medics, okay, that'll give me back a fair amount, now, the only other thing is the ammo, I just remembered energy cells I want to get rid of too, yeah, that's going to put me back over, okay, so then, maybe buy back these casseroles, oh, they weigh a lot though, I don't really want to have those dragging around. Maybe try buy back the pre-war money. I'll take a loss, but at least I'll get some money out of that. Have something of value. And... Yeah, I don't know what to do. Maybe more dirty water, but each one weighs one pound. I kind of want to buy some stuff that's not going to weigh too much. Like these. These don't weigh anything. 
But wait, I'm never going to use that. Why would I ever use... Um, go back to items. Why would I ever use the unarmed? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what to buy. Let's just buy the dirty water. Still not enough? Wow. The idea here is to get rid of weight, not put more on my character. I don't... Oh wait, I really want those. They give plus repair. Still not enough. Um, the jets don't weigh anything. Anything that has no weight here, that's what I'm going to be buying. Just anything that has no weight. Or very little weight. Um, those have very little weight. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want anything else from this guy. Oh, except maybe these casings. Do I want this shotgun? Looks like it's okay. I'm gonna take maybe this helmet as well. This iguanas. There we go. Okay, I got my money's worth. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Now, also. I should be able to repair this guy. Fix it. Repair with parts. Um, I need three pieces of scrap metal, two sensory model modules, and some scrap electronics. Leave it alone. Um, so what am I missing of that combination? Because I know where I can get all of that. Scrap metal, sensory model. Oh, I have everything. Then what did repair? Repair with parts. Fix it with parts. Okay, there we go. Old buddy, old pal. Oh, there he is. Companion protocol begin. Gives you an enhanced sensory perk. Uh, tactical interface open. Combat interface open. Uh, weapon type ranged. Makes beeping noises. Tactics or controls. Tactics. What? Storage open. Oh, so I can let him store stuff. Okay. That's cool. So if I get too much weight, I can give it to him. Um... Tactics interface open. Follow distance protocol open. Um, follow distance uh, close. Uh, control interface close. Huh. Combat information. Tactics interface open. Okay. Combat interface. Okay, ranged. And then... Yeah, that's a bit tricky to understand what's happening, but I think I got him set up the way I want. The only issue I have with him is that... Oh, wait. Oh, there he is. Is I'm afraid that he might get destroyed. That's my biggest concern. I'm afraid that I'm going to rush into some sort of crazy battle like I tend to do that's way out of my league and then he's just going to get destroyed. So I might have to ease back on the sort of picking crazy difficult battles for sake of him. Because I don't want to lose my companion. Especially a robot companion that's pretty awesome and can carry stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go to the dock, get my limbs repaired a bit, and then uh, head back to... Uh, towards Nipton and maybe check out some hollow arrows in that area. Okay, back in Nipton. I figure I'm going to head back this way a little bit and check out some of the hollow arrows I passed on the way in. Just be careful with him is the only thing. I'm going to actually save um, before I do anything sort of crazy here. Now, there is a location over this way. 
turn my light back on just in case. Oh, I can see a lot of uh, friendly arrows in this direction. Friendly units. Oh. They don't look friendly to me. They don't look friendly at all. Uh, which weapon do I want to start with? Let's start with this guy. They look like Legion. The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. He is decked out. I'm going to switch to my service rifle. Use a uh, condition stim pack. Then switch to ammo type armor piercing. And then let's have some fun. Now see, I think what just happened though is the thing I was most afraid of. I think my robot just got destroyed. Or is about to get destroyed. While I'm back here running away. Wow, he's got a lot of armor. That's it, stand still. Critical hit. Um, I'll take the rounds. Dynamite, healing powder. Their money, and super sledge. Wow. Okay, let's leave that alone. Hey, robot, how you doing over there? I can't see his weight. Wait, where's he going? Don't run. I broke his armor. Whoa. Way to go, robot buddy. Where are you... Um... How can I tell how much health he has? Oh. Wait, is that using a stim pack on me or on him? Because his HP is still 180. Could they not hit him or something? Um. Exit. Cool, I guess. Some blue star caps. Cool. At the rate I'm collecting blue star caps, I'm going to have a hard time um, with people probably trying to steal them soon. Oh, this is not a rare helmet. I thought the leader who had that was like a special helmet just for him, but it's not rare. Probably should have picked it up because of its value, but at this point, really, I don't want more value. Like, I just have no one to sell anything to, and they have nothing I want. So, I really need to move on and find somewhere to use my caps. I guess that would be a, a point towards um, actually going to New Vegas, but yeah, I'm still not totally convinced that it's a good idea. Purified water. I don't want anything else he has. Okay. All right. Well, that was that was definitely one way to deal with the problem. Little float in buddy. Just want to double check this guy. Yeah, his helmet isn't worth a lot. And he's just got pretty much heavy armor. I'll take the machine gun though. I'm pretty sure I can repair that out. Okay, go to weapons, uh, repair that, and repair that, and that's got no repair in it. Switch back to this one. Just used a lot of armor piercing rounds, but I'm not too concerned with that. Let's head down this way. There is still another hollow arrow that I'm heading towards. Those guys were um, a minor detour.